there are some details that will make a difference when we're using the extraction operator and get line. So let's do some experiments that expose those details. We need a couple of more variables, so I'm going to add these to my code, and you can add them to your code. So these are just integers, and we're going to get some information from the user. First, we're going to get a name, and we already know how to do that. So we're going to have them enter a name, and we're going to use getLine because we want to be able to get the white space if that's part of the name. And we're going to get it from the CN IO stream, and we're going to store it in our variable name that we already have. All right, so we know that part. We also are very familiar with how to get other things, right? So we want to say, uh, how long is your commute in minutes? And that could be a question mark. OK, so how long is your commute in minutes? And this one, I'm going to, there won't be any spaces. and. Uh, by the way, getLine works with strings, not with integers, so if I tried to use it with an integer, it wouldn't work. So uh, I can just use the straight extraction operator, right? So I just use the extraction operator and store it in this variable minutes that we have defined. Okay. And then I can do the same thing to get the distance. So. And again, use the extraction operator to get an integer and store it in the variable miles. All right, so we have that. Now let's go ahead and see out our information. And we'll label it so we know what's coming up. So we, well, we'll let's just put a whole sentence, shall we? Name. And I'm going to put spaces in there so they line up. Has a... How many minutes? Let's see, the minutes are stored in that variable. Minute commute. Oh, I want to say the miles to that many minute, comma, and then miles. And a carriage return. OK, so has a, however many minute, minute, mile commute. So it's going to take, tell us how many minutes and how many miles in their commute. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. And here it comes up, and it asks for a name. And how long is your commute in minutes? Let's say 53. How many miles is your commute? 42. Oh, I have a space there. I don't need. Okay, Solid Johnson has a 53-minute, 42-mile commute. So it looks like I have an extra space there, and I'm missing one there. So we can go fix that. So we add a space here, and we don't need one there. Okay. So notice how that worked out just fine. Now let's take exactly that same thing. I'm not going to redefine the variables but I'm going to get it in a different order. So now what? watch what happens. So now if I say, how about if I get the minutes first and then I get the name? So that's all I'm going to do is just simply change the order. And I'm still going to get them all before uh, I print it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it this way. I'm going to put in a couple more carriage returns here so we see the break in between these two. and run it. All right, so I'll put the first one in. And uh, let's do the same thing, 53, and I don't remember how many it was, 42 miles, yeah. OK, Sally Johnson has a 53-minute, 42-mile commute. Now let's do it backwards. Let's say, what is your commute in minutes? And I'm going to say 53. And how many miles is your commute is 42. And what happened to enter the name? So here's the prompt, enter a name, and it just moved right on and printed out, enter the name, and it says, what did it have for the name here? Nothing. So there's a space there. So it didn't allow me to enter the name, and it used an empty string. 
This has to do with the difference between the extraction operator and get line, and they, they do different things. So the extraction operator, uh, what it does is it ignores leading white space and it gathers until it gets to the first white, first white space. And then it leaves the white space there. Okay, so that's how it does it. GetLine does it differently. GetLine doesn't ignore anything. It starts gathering right away because it can gather white space. Starts gathering where it is. Okay, until the sense is helping me. Uh, and then it gathers until uh, until it gets to a carriage return. Now we can change this. There's a third parameter. It's a default parameter, so if we don't change it. It's carriage return or other character that's specified, right? We can put that in the third parameter. And then it gathers until the carriage return, and it gathers the carriage return. So it doesn't leave it. It doesn't include it. It, it doesn't include it in the string, but it gathers it out of the stream where it's getting it. So because these are different, let's go back and see what happens. So here we say, give us the number of minutes, give us the number of miles. So when I enter minutes, I do 53 enter. When I do the miles, I do 42 enter. What happens? The extraction operator ignores whatever's there. It gets to the 53, it gathers it up, and it leaves the carriage return there, stores it in minutes. Then this, this extraction operator, it ignores that carriage return that's there. It gathers the 42 miles, gets to the carriage return, and stops and leaves it there. Get line starts right where it is. And what's the first thing there? Is a carriage return from when I entered miles. So it picks up that carriage return, and it stops because it stops at that carriage return. So it gathers it. It doesn't store it. And the string that's stored in name is the empty string. And that's what we saw. We saw that there was an empty string. It actually gathered it. Didn't even wait for me to enter anything because it had something there. Gathered that, stored an empty string in name, and it printed out the 53 minutes and 42 miles and the empty string. So when this happens and this transaction, this transition that it causes a problem, up here it wasn't a problem because GetLine gathered that carriage return. Minutes didn't care, right? The extraction operator just started. There was no leading white space. It gathered the 53 and stored it. So we don't have a problem when we're going from GetLine to an extraction operator. The problem comes when we transition from an extraction operator to GetLine. And there is that spare carriage return in there that we need to manage. So the way to manage that is to use the ignore statement. So we do cn dot, we have to tell it what stream we're ignoring it from, and here we're ignoring it from cn. Notice what we're using here. We're using the object dot method uh, approach, which tells us something about what cn is, right? It's, it's a class. It's an object. So cn is an object, and we say object dot method and ignores the method. What ignore does is it ignores a single character, so it will ignore that carriage return if that's what's there. If there's something else there, it'll ignore that. It ignores a single character. So now when we run it, oh, I have an error. Do you get those ever? Oh, sure enough, here I forgot a semicolon after the ignore. you got to have your semicolons all in line. So I save it, try again. The nice thing about these error messages, they tell you what line number to look on. It says, look on line 59, there's a problem. And then it tells you something about it. You know, it told me I need a semicolon and I need it before the get line. So it was very informative. Now let's run it. Okay, so now we enter the name. And 53 minute commute and 42. This is the one that worked before. So now let's see if we can do it the other order. Our commute is 53 minutes long, 42 miles, 
And now it's letting us enter the name. And there we go. This is something to always keep in mind. Uh, it's really tricky because the extraction operator right here is right next to it. So we really see it happening. But sometimes the extraction operator could be earlier in the program or in another function, but it just happened and it left that carriage return in that string and then getLine gets it. So whenever you use getLine, it's important to think through whether there was an extraction operator you used earlier that may have left something in that string that you're not ready for. So it's just something to be aware of and pay attention to.